I got the call about the, about 5.40 Thursday evening. Just been out of town, just got back. And they said a tornado, a storm, they didn't know at that time, a storm had hit the Worcester campus. I jumped in my car and headed up there. First bat, she went with me. And to see that devastation that evening was tremendous. Uh, we, as you can see, we had damage on several of the buildings and our greenhouses right behind us here took, uh, took a direct hit. And uh, then it went on across the campus, starting at this southwest corner and going up to uh, the northeast part. And uh, the Arboretum uh, also received uh, some, some damage as well. And so uh, we're still assessing the situation to see what the real damage is and, and how long it will take us to get back into operation again. We hope soon, uh, but we're still making that assessment at this particular time. We just want to say that our thoughts and prayers have been answered, that nobody has been injured in this uh, devastating storm. I just drove up on the bypass around here and saw the damage to the Arboretum, and, and uh, it's just devastating with the trees and, and uh, what's happened here. A lot of important work is done here at the Ohio Agricultural Research and Development Center, and, and we want to get that back fast, on the line as fast as possible. It'll be slowing down for a while, but we think we can get back on, on the track again soon. But I'm grateful for all of our, uh, for all of our folks. Uh, you know, we have a great spirit at this university, a spirit of enthusiasm, a spirit of cooperation, a spirit of, um, of uh, belief in ourselves and belief in this state. And uh, it was really evidenced by what happened at Worcester and um, the aftermath. And so I just want to thank all my colleagues, Steve Slack and all the folks at OARDC and all, of, all the folks in Extension because it's really, uh, it's really terrific what they did. Actually, one of the things I'm really thinking about with our new environmental services and trees thing, whether it's going to be useful to us really quickly before these are removed, get them measured in the species so that we can estimate the value of trees lost in environmental services. OSU is our ladder to opportunity and innovation. And perhaps nothing demonstrates that as well as does agriculture. Through the Ohio Agricultural Research and Development Center, through the university's College of Food, Agriculture, and uh, Environmental Sciences, and through the university's Extension Services. From ground zero, my key message and my concern was there was no personal injury. That still seems to be the priority as we move forward from this. I want to say a big thank you to Steve Slack and his team and how they have gotten things organized and are making progress and moving forward. And I want to say a thank you to all of you for your patience, your understanding as we work together. I've been very impressed by the way everyone has worked together to really get to where we are today, five days later after the storm hit. I also want to tell you I have been very, very impressed with the excellent cooperation and the help that we've gotten out of the Columbus campus. There's been people up there every day from Columbus. There's probably people here today uh, helping us get things pulled back together. It's truly a one university concept, and we're seeing it working here today. Our disaster plan went into place and it worked, and it worked extremely well. We've got a long way to go. We've got a lot of things to do, but I can tell you this, it looks a whole lot better today than it did on Thursday night. But, you know, I have confidence in you. I have confidence in you as a people, because people make the difference. As the faculty and the staff, that you're gonna build back bigger and better than ever before. The OARDC will be better as a result of going through this experience because I have confidence in you that that will happen. Thank you very much for working with us.